I'm John Magnuson with the Cedar Tree Institute, and we're here to launch Earth Keepers 2, an interfaith environmental initiative in the coming two years with a focus on energy conservation and community gardens and bring back the native plants. Community church gardens. I have faith in seeds. Very good things will come from this. Delta Green is the technical partner. This is building on the work that our collaborative communities participated in from 2004 to 2009. And thanks to the United States Forest Service and the United States Environmental Protection Agency, at the heart of this work is a group of students from Northern Michigan University. My name is Tom Merkel. My name is Caitlin Bingner. I'm Adam Magnuson. But we will be working with tribes, especially Keweenaw Bay, and I want to honor them. Expect great wonders. Thank you, Bishop. I was prepared to introduce Reverend Paul Lemon of the Buddhist community, but he's recovering from an illness, and he does send his greetings. But now I'll introduce Bishop Alexander Sample of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Marquette. I'm very, very happy and honored uh, to be a part again uh, of the Earth Keepers Initiative. Uh, I was in part of the, the last great effort that, that we had with Earth Keepers, where we did a lot about the proper disposal of, of things that can be harmful to our environment. And uh, to, to see Earth Keepers sort of get resurrected and get a new life through the generosity of, of the grants that has been given is, is a great encouragement. And what I'm particularly uh, impressed with and touched by, quite honestly, is, is really the involvement of the young people. Um, clearly, uh, the youth uh, of, our, of our communities have a great concern and a great love for, for the beauty of, of creation and all of the, the rich natural resources that, that God has provided for us. So to see young people uh, step forward and take leadership in, in helping us preserve all that, that has been given to us is, is a great encouragement and a sign of hope for me, truly, for, for the future. You know, from the Roman Catholic perspective, uh, you know, we have a great concern for the care, the proper care uh, of our creation. In fact, uh, our, our Pope, uh, the Holy Father, Pope Benedict XVI, who is often, you know, he's an old uh, man, certainly. He's, he's a very much a senior citizen, older than my own mother. And, uh, and he's seen as a, a very, a very uh, serious theologian. And he is a theologian. His whole background is as a theologian. And I think many were surprised when uh, Pope Benedict XVI came out very early on during his time as, as leader of the Roman Catholic Church throughout the world, speaking about our responsibility toward the, the creation that has been entrusted to us. And he's made a very serious point of bringing it up at other times again and again, that this is, this is an obligation that we have as people of faith to take care of the gifts that God has given to us. And I, uh, as the, the local Roman Catholic representative of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, am very, very proud to be a part of this, to put our effort, our energy, our support behind it, and to be involved in, in a very particular way. To see this coming down into our church communities uh, is, I think, a very uh, important part of this. That this is going to touch uh, the faith communities in a very special way, not only benefiting our communities in terms of energy efficiency and perhaps some, some beautiful green spaces and gardens, but it, it will also bring an awareness, a deeper awareness to our local communities of faith of just how important it is that we take care of this, not just for ourselves today, but for the future generations, for these young people and, and for the young people that will come after them. So I, I thank you all for coming and, and, I, and I'm very proud to be a part of this coalition. I know that very good things will come from this. That is community church gardens, whether it be a vegetable garden, a healing garden, a meditation garden, herb garden. My native plant garden in Milwaukee is about 20 feet by 15 feet, and it is just a delight for me to see my workers in there. In the morning and coming back in the evening, the male bombus or bumblebees roost. My garden serves as a repository for those native bees and other pollinators for my whole 
urban community. These small native gardens serve as the pollinator source for the vegetable garden, not just in that churchyard, but in the neighborhood. And that is really a delightful thing. Those church lots and other uh, facilities related to that really do matter, and what we are doing really does matter.